Hello, human friends. Photoshop recently introduced a new feature that allows you to turn someone old, make them smile, shift the position of their head, and change which way their eyes are looking at. So naturally, I was curious to see what would happen if we applied the same filter multiple times in a row. And, ah, uh, I have to say, I regret everything. Okay, so first, we're going to fire up the new Photoshop 2021, aka, Cotton Candy Flamingos. And, here we have, a delightful photo of me. Let's go up to Filter, select Neural Filters, and click on this little beaker icon and activate Smart Portrait. Here we see a bunch of options. I'm going to test it out by turning my head. Now we wait, as Adobe processes the data in the cloud, and silently judges me for wasting their technology on such a dumb video. It can take a while depend- As I was saying, let's fire up Photoshop and open a different photo. We'll go into Neural Filters again, and click on this to turn on the smart- So, it seems Photoshop has a hard time recognizing anime faces. I'm gonna try some other examples. Nope, this one doesn't work either. I wonder if it has to do with the level of detail. This one seems to work for some reason. Maybe we can go ahead and try to change one of these options. Oh wait never mind. Interesting. Let's try a painting instead, since it's closer to a real face in terms of detail. So far so good. The Mona Lisa is known to stare at you no matter which way you are looking at the painting. Totally not creepy at all. Still, maybe we can fix that. There you go, now she is looking off to the side, like one of those awkward department store portraits. But, she needs more happy. Perfect. If you ever wanted to know the great mystery hiding behind the Mona Lisa smile, you're welcome. Okay, enough fooling around. Let's get to the real task at hand. To answer the very question that no one is asking, what happens if you use the same neural filter over and over again? And, Mr. Musk, I'm sorry for using your photo for this. I just happened to find it on Wikimedia Commons. It's nothing personal. Or, is it? First, we're gonna start recording an action to turn his head one time. Let's go. I dunno. All the way. So this is about as far as Photoshop will go, when using the filter one time. Here is the before and after. He kinda looks like, he reminds me of that guy from Party of Five. It was an old TV show from the 90s. Never mind. Let's hit OK to apply, and stop recording the action. Now here comes the fun part. I'm going to keep playing that same action. Let's see what Adobe's artificial intelligence can come up with. Oh my god. Ah, uh, this is not what I expected. Thank you Photoshop for the nightmare fuel. You know if you play it back, it's sort of mesmerizing. It's like all the ideas in his head finally compressed into a black hole. Now if you're wondering, what would it look like if you didn't go all the way? Don't worry fam, I got you. Now he's starting to look like a cross between a 3D printed Hugh Grant and uh, a potato. Come on, really? Oh. A and we're back. This time, let's go ahead and change his age. Make him into an old man. Nice. Elon Musk? More like Elon Musk. Am I right? <coughs> Moving along, it's like watching a Chia pet heading into its golden years. I like how he's got this, Martin Sheen look, going on. Even down to the smile. I'm actually surprised we even made it this far. Uh -oh. oh, there it is. Photoshop probably has had enough of my sh** by now. But, at least we are left with this final image to carry in our hearts and minds forever. Let's see that progression again. Elon living on Earth. Elon living on Mars. Earth Elon. Mars Elon. Earth Elon. Okay now I'm just padding the video at this point. I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun. I do have one more experiment I'd like to try. Let's see what happens when we use the neural filter for his eyes. Let's push it all the way and repeat the process. I wonder if it... Ah. Uh... Okay, how about let's not do that ever again. I want to do something a little more wholesome, to get that cursed image out of my head. There we go. Now we know what The Rock will look like in Fast and Furious 19, or Hobbs and Shaw 7, whichever is your guilty pleasure. Oh, and we can't forget about Jason Statham. I'd like to end this video with some lessons learned. So, Photoshop's new neural filters is a powerful tool. There's obviously way more to it than what I covered in this video, so I highly recommend you check it out on your own. In terms of smart portrait, yeah, it's not perfect. Anime faces are no bueno. 
and misusing the filters can produce some horrifying results. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. And I hope I was able to bring a little fun to your day. Subscribe if you want to see more random, silly, stuff like this. I'll be covering a lot of other topics as well. Okay bye. Bum 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 b